Cranial nerve 8, the vestibular cochlear nerve. The nucleus of the nerve is located in the pons and medulla of the brainstem. The nerve starts at the cochlea. The axons of the bipolar cells of the vestibular cochlear nerve project to the cochlear nucleus. The cochlear nucleus is divided into the dorsal cochlear nucleus, DCN, anteroventral cochlear nucleus, ABCN, and posteroventral cochlear nucleus, PVCN, of the pons. The dorsal acoustic pathway arises from the DCN and travels around the inferior cerebellar peduncle. It decussates, passes the superior olivary complex and lateral lemniscus, and synapses at the inferior colliculus. The ventral acoustic pathway travels anterior to the inferior cerebellar peduncle and ends in the contralateral superior olivary nuclei. The intermediate acoustic pathway from the PVCN ends at the ipsilateral superior olivary complex. Fibers from the superior olivary complex within the pons ascend to the lateral lemniscus and inferior colliculus. Finally, the nerve ends at the medial geniculate body, which is a thalamic nucleus. It then projects from the medial geniculate body to Heschel's gyrus of the temporal lobe. The vestibular cochlear nerve is sensory only. It, along with the hair cells of the inner ear, transmits information about both hearing and balance to the brain. The hearing part of the nerve innervates the cochlea. The balance part of the nerve innervates the semicircular canals, which are tubes inside the ears. Damage to the eighth nerve may arise from a variety of situations, including physical trauma, tumor growth, compression, or a vascular incident. Such damage will result in a hearing loss directly reflecting the degree of trauma. Longitudinal fractures disrupting the tympanic membrane will result in a sensory neural loss and vertigo. Transverse fractures cause the nerves to be sheared or compressed. Damage to the vestibular component may affect the equilibrium. Since this nerve relays balance information, the speech-language pathologist should do a hearing test to see if the patient reports any dizziness or vertigo. The vestibular cochlear nerve is very important for speech and language pathologists because it is essential in receiving auditory information including speech and language. If a person is not getting all the auditory information from the nerve to the brain, then learning, developing, and producing speech and language would be extremely difficult or impossible. Thank you.